How's the transition from Florida to Ole Miss going for you? It's, it's going good so far. It's going good. Princely, is there are there any differences in in your role between your, what you're going to be doing here and and what you did at Florida last year? Um, not 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 really. I think it's pretty much the same as the as as at Florida, like an outside linebacker edge role, rushing the passer, but still getting into covers on some snap. And then how are you how are you doing physically? We see the the black jersey. jersey I'm doing there. good. Uh, I'm taking it day by day. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking it day by day, but I'm 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 feeling really good. It's just I just can't uh do any like uh physical contact with another person. Yeah, along those lines, following up on David's question, is there kind of a timetable in your mind as to when you, you think you'll be able to be a hundred percent play, that kind of thing? Uh not really. I wouldn't say a timetable. I don't think uh I don't think anything is gonna refrain me from uh, playing in any games, but I just, I just, you know, it's, it's a day by day thing for sure. Big of a year is this for you from an NFL perspective, where you've put a lot of, of stuff on tape. Obviously, you're at a new place now. Um, you know, you, this is your, your big draft year. Do you, is that something that you think about a lot, or do you, mm. you try to block that out, or how do you approach that? Uh, I was, I don't think I think about it too much. It's, it's in the, it's in my head for sure, but I don't think I think of, I think about it like on a daily, but it, it is a really, really big year for me. You know, I just come, come every day and just show, show up and go to work and just try to be consistent and be a pro every single day, just to make sure that I'm not taking any of these days for granted and making every day count so that it could be one of the best, if not the best season I've had so far in college. Some of the guys in the spring said that Golding system can be a little bit difficult to learn at first. It can mm -hmm. almost kind of feel sort of clunky at first. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you in terms of like feeling comfortable and being able to go full speed without thinking too much? Uh, I think um, I'd probably say if I was to give it a percentage, about 70, 75. But yeah, like Golden does have like one of the toughest defenses I've had to learn. So it is, I, I've had to put in extra work. Like I just texted him last night in the middle at like 10.30 p.m. asking him about a play. But uh, yeah, I've had to uh, put in extra works. So I, I meet with Coach Lou extra and things like that, so I can get that his system down pat. I noticed today in the part that was available to us that they were working with you on some coverage stuff. How much of that did you do at Florida? How much of that is new to you? Um, so I did drop into coverage a lot at Florida. Just not. Uh, I, I would say it's just. I would say it's just here's more detail when I do drop. So. Now I, I actually can feel myself, you know, making plays when I do drop into coverage. Like I'm in, I'm able to go in seven on seven. Today I had a pass breakup in seven on seven. Coach Lou, you know, does a great job of going through the drop progressions with me, uh, reading the receivers and things like that. So I'm really happy to have Coach Lou. Uh, is, is Coach Golding cool with the 1030 text? Is he, is he still like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was cool with it. He, uh, he texted me back. Um, what makes that defense tough to learn, I guess? Uh, I, you know what? I would say it's a mixture of just how much different things we have to pay attention to when it comes to watching the offense, and also it's a it's a combination of Kiffin having a hurry up offense. So at Florida, you know, we never went tempo, so it was easy to we get a play. Maybe I'm it's a new play we're running. We get a play. You know, the offense hasn't even ran the, started running the play yet. So I'm, I'm still communicating with my teammates on defense. You know, here is just fast. So it's like as soon as you get the call, you got to go. So that that really makes it a little bit more difficult to learn a defense also. How are you seeing this defense come together and the talent level? Uh, Pleased with everything like that? Yeah, for sure. I think it's coming. I think this defense is coming to, to get together great. I think it'll be a, a great comp, uh, complement to our explosive offense. You know, so far from what I've seen in camp, I know it's a lot of guys from different places, but I feel like uh, every day we're feeling more and more as like a team. I know all of you guys transferred here with hopes of winning a national championship with these kind of guys. And the preseason coaches poll just came out, and y'all were ranked six. Just kind of, how are y'all managing these high expectations here at Ole Miss? Uh, I don't think I don't. Well, as far as 
when it comes to me, I don't really talk. I don't really hear too much about it in the locker room. I, we don't really. I don't really talk too much about it uh, with guys. So I think everybody's just focused on the goal. You know, uh, it's a little cool to me. You know, <laughs> I haven't seen a team I've been ranked. I mean, I haven't seen a t the team that I've been on been ranked since my freshman year of, of college. So it's like a good feeling just to to see that again. Uh, I feel like uh, I don't. I don't think it's too difficult. I feel like if if you take if you listen to it and you actually start believing it, then that's when uh, I feel like you get too far ahead of yourself. But if you it's, there's no problem with looking at it, seeing it cool, passing by, you know. But I just feel like you shouldn't uh, just don't take it in too much. Appreciate it. Sir.